Okay, in this presentation, uh, we're going to do a very short presentation on making predictions using a regression equation, okay? So, this is our regression equation here. Now, it's in this form here, okay? The slope estimate and the intercept estimate, uh, these are calculated here. Let's just say for argument's sake that the mean or the the intercept is 25 and the slope is 5. Just nice simple numbers to work with. Okay. So uh, essentially what this is, it's an a line through a the, this this is the regression line here. It's this red line fitted throughout through the data. Okay. Okay. So the intercept is down here. Let's say it's 25. And for each unit increase of x, the um, we uh, increase uh, y increases by five. That's the general gist of it here. Okay. Now let's say, for argument's sake, that this here y is equal to fifty here, or uh, sorry, x is equal to fifty. Uh, what is the corresponding value of y? So essentially, what we do here is scroll up uh, just. If x is equal to 50, this is what we predict y to be, this uh, green dot in here. I probably should make it black, actually, just to make it a little bit easier to uh, see. That is our predicted value for y, y hat, okay, when x is equal to 50. Now, let's if, evaluate that. Uh, y hat equals 25 plus uh, 5 times 50. So that should equal 275 okay okay that's uh, essentially what you do there now that's all well and good now what I'm going to just sort of remark upon here is let's just look at this range of data we have there okay so we have a little uh, cloud of dots there scatter point on uh, our plot here okay so let's just take everything else out and just look at those there so let's just say for argument's sake that this is x is equal to 10 here, and let's say this is x is equal to 100. Okay. Essentially, the what we're go, what I'm going to just remark upon here is that we can only use our regression equation in what we observed already. Okay. So I mean, it wouldn't make you, um, a massive difference if we went like made predicted the value for just either out just outside I don't think that would make a major difference but you see in the long term we don't know what's going to happen so really this is more of a problem for the the higher values so essentially we don't know how this trend is going to continue see a linear equation sort of would sort of assumes constant linearity the whole way up through and uh, you know it just the, the the line just continues on okay that's a sort of assumed by the linear equation okay but we don't know if that actually happens so what happens here is it could actually just peter out or the actual the whole trend actually starts to decrease after a while we don't know which of these three options or these three scenarios will take place okay on that's the we only know what happens here to here. We only know that that can be described as a linear relationship uh, between 10 and 100. We don't know what happens uh, above 100 really and we shouldn't use it. The, this model, our regression equation, we shouldn't use it above 100. Now the error that one um, carries out when you do use a model when you shouldn't is called extrapolation. Okay. And extrapolation is when you use a model regression equation outside the range of data that was used to fit that model. Okay, so that's essentially it. So just watch out for that. That usually comes up as a sort of question. Extrapolation, essentially, the only place your model is valid is in this region here. Here, not valid because you don't really know what happens. You don't know if it goes in this direction, that direction, or down. Okay. So that's it, let's switch this off.